So I'm just I've got this colour and I'm just going around if I see areas that I feel you know would help it would help. Sort of transition is yeah well that's really mucky now but You know, that I'll be able to sort out later when I just go in with a bit of you know, some darker shadow. It's, it is a bit crude with this hog's hair that I'm using, but it's just to sort of speed up the demonstration. <coughs> Excuse me. Too much colour in there. This is just yellow ochre and white.
he definitely makes it look easier than it is. Maybe it's my reproduction, but it's hard to see what's going on Back around his ear. It's probably enough just to leave it with as it was. So there's definitely just a touch of vermilion. It's quite red there. This transition's quite red. It's a very bright highlight that helps a lot. Sorry, someone answer. looking for this line along the nostril and the brush is too big. Oh. Right, there might be a lot of this, but just hopefully this shows what you need to do if it happens. And then you don't want to leave too, I'll put a bit of oil on it. But a bit of medium, but then you don't want to leave too much. So we can just start again. mixture this is between the two just trying to find what I was drawing here so there's a line there and then there's just there's a crease but it gets in there isn't it it's too low Yeah, so you can just see with the, the beauty of the underpainting is that I can just find it all again, I can just wipe it off. I think it would be important if, you know, if someone is having a go at doing it, to just not be afraid to try and then, you know, see what it looks like. But you could just have another go, you can take it off and try again. That's that pure, pure colour. Right, this was actually looking at it. 
bit I got wrong in the drawing, I'm just not quite sure what's going on. So, sort of lined up with what would be his pupil, I just want to see. Okay, now, so I am going to do a bit of shadow because I'm going to try and draw the mouth again. So this is just Vermillion and Burnt Umber. Need more burnt, yeah, it's two more. It's pure about burnt umber really and a touch of vermilion. There are teeth in there somewhere as well. Okay, so we can get another one of those brushes. Dry brush, how about that? So it's not exactly right, but you get the general idea. Yeah, just slowly as so you sort of warm up really, and then once you get into the flow of it, you can start to just get a feel for the colours. It's just, yeah, not being afraid to sort of dive in, guess, and then guess again, and then guess better, and just keep guessing. That's all it is. I mean, obviously, it isn't right, but. It's something, it's a start. Yeah, I hope you understand the, yeah, it's just it's for the purposes of the demonstration, I do work fairly crudely and um, of course it's possible to do it in a much more refined manner, but then would it be filmable? And then I'd want to just get right up in front of it. Yeah, so hopefully it's just something that, you know, you'd be able to just try. And, and like me, uh, maybe, you know, doing something, one of your own projects. So it's got this very ochre little bit of vermilion. Because it's getting quite light around there, just on his forehead. Okay, so speaking of, I've uh, just got an errant hair on my brush. Yeah, 
speaking of familiar and speaking of yellow ochre actually is what I was going to say uh, I just thought I want to do the shoulder I'm just going to have a little bit of light relief because it's just too much pressure so let's just see what this is like Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, not my version, but just uh, the the method. Really see how it works. Suddenly, that just comes alive. So uh, the first approach is just you, let's get some paint on there. So we just put the paint on. Just gently, not committing too much. But I'm just going to go over that entire shadow. So in the same way that, you know, with the face, I suddenly, you know, you can gain a little bit of confidence and then you can start moving forward. See, there's when it's, I think it just, it just reaches a point when there's enough paint on the surface. And as I always say, you sort of start to treat it, it's, it's a palette in itself. You've got all of your mixes here, but, you know, those mixes are going into the mixes that are on the surface anyway. And that's what's going to happen with the shoulder. So we're not there yet, but there's uh, something's begun. Um, because we can only guess, uh, we just have to, that's all we have to do, but just actually is to make a guess, take a step, and, and then just see what it looks like. There was an analogy about um, someone was talking about the scientific experiments in some popular science book and uh, talking about how um, you know navigators you do they when they try and navigate using the stars you know the first thing you have to do is to guess you make a guess and then you make adjustments based on that guess and how how close it was or not. Thus, in the end, finding finding your way to your destination. <laughs> 